Hello and welcome to day 23 of our 100 Days of Essential Oils event. Today I would love to introduce you to an essential oil that we use a lot in our cooking and around our home. It's called cumin. Now cumin, cumino, is probably a spice that you're familiar with if you use if you cook any Mediterranean or Mexican dishes. I actually use cumin in a recipe on andloveit2.com called our Mexican coleslaw dish. Absolutely delicious, very potent. It takes just a little bit, goes a long way. We've talked about using other essential oils in our cooking. So literally all you need to do for most recipes is to take a toothpick and put it right there just mix it around and then mix that in the oil that you're using. Now, since I cook for larger families, um, my family has eight people in it on its own. So since I cook for a larger family, I usually end up using a whole drop of cumin instead of just the toothpick. But that's really all it takes for a whole big recipe. And so there's a lot of people who prefer to use this or to store this instead of spices. I have a friend who uses doTERRA, who um, she has replaced her entire spice cabinet, except for things like garlic and onion, because we don't have essential oils for that yet. Um, but she's replaced her entire spice cabinet as much as she can with essential oils instead of the actual herb, because this little bottle has 85 drops in it. And half the time, because she's just cooking for her husband and herself, she's not even going to use a full drop versus having a whole big container that might have 85 uses in it. So this is a great, great oil to help with that. And what is cumin good for? Well, again, in addition to being used in many dishes from around the world, cumin actually helps to support digestive health and occasional digestive discomfort. So if you would like to put cumin into a capsule, that would be a great way to do it. Just a drop or two at a time um, and take that internally, or you can use it topically by diluting it and applying it over your belly. Now, cumin is one of those oils Oddly enough, it's not a citrus oil, but it is an oil that may add to sensitivity to light. So if you are going to use this topically, which it would be a great option if you need something to help warm your hands or your feet, and again, to use it topically over your belly to help with digestive discomfort, add it during the night. You need to wait about 12 hours before going out and gardening or hanging out in the sun or just putting yourself um, in suns in UV's way. So this is one that can add to your photosensitivity. Usually we talk about that with citrus oils, but cumin is one that will do so as well. So make sure that you use it safely. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Now cumin is not an oil that we offer regularly. It is actually exclusively available right now in our Sensational Flavors Kit. This is a very special buy, a limited edition, and so there's not very many left. But inside of this is spearmint, cumin, dill, and tangerine. And of those, everything except for spearmint is exclusive to this kit. So that cumin, dill, and tangerine, if you want to just go out and buy, you need to grab this kit. Get a couple of them while you're at it. It's a great value. Let me know if you have any questions and why don't you share below how you've used cumin in your home and in your life. I'd love to hear more. Look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks for joining us on today's edition of 100 Days of Essential Oils.